Guys, welcome back to the channel and today I am remaking Bitten. It's made with the Bite Me fragrance. So people say it smells like Dr. Pepper. I don't think it smells like Dr. Pepper. I think it's just a fruity smell. Um, but this is the first Bitten of 2020. So let's go make some soap. Hi guys, welcome back. Today we are making Bitten. I use the Bite Me from Nature's Garden. Um, tropical teal will be an accent color as well. I think this is raspberry red, but it's brambleberry. I don't know what color it is. Okay, let's have my regular oils and additives. I'm going to go ahead and buzz all this up. This fragrance oil accelerates slightly. Nothing crazy. Oh lord. It's been working so good all day. I never know when this thing's gonna work or not work. So mixing it in with the clay. Okay, so we need some for the red, and a little bit for the blue, the teal. So my favorite soaps to make. People seem to really like it. Some people say it smells like Dr. Pepper. It does not smell like Dr. Pepper to me. I don't really know what it smells like either. It's very fruity. Yeah, I'm almost out of the teal. I did order more. But you know, these things take time. Okay. This will be white. Titanium dioxide. All right, let's buzz these up. to pour in here. Wait, I gotta mix with this one. Looks like I might have some stuck on the side there. I'm all right. Let's just mix this one too. Definitely had some stuck on the side. Okay. Start with some white. I'm gonna do a hanger swirl. Oh, not what I wanted at all. <laughs> Save a little bit more for the next layer. Not too much. There won't be much. 
much on the next layer. Ooh. Wow, Nicole. Throw in soap. Throw in soap. And not in a good way. Okay. Is it a good way to throw soap? Yes. That's what I call it. When we soap. So I gotta go throw some soap. <laughs> Do not know why I call it that. I don't know. Who knows? All right. Okay. Let's get the rest of these this blue in and pink. It looks a lot more mobby right now. That's okay. Okay. Let me offer the blue. Hang on for the raspberry. starting to thicken up which will be great for piping also great for the hanger it's too thin when you hanger it it likes to blur muddy up that's what it do it muddies up okay let me take a hanger through this and then I will bring you back when it's time to pipe it. Alright, we will see what we get from that. So I'll bring you guys right back. Hi guys, welcome back. We're back to pipe. Bite me. Bitten is what it's called in my shop. Okay, so like I was saying, I like to start the year off with some of my best sellers. And this is one of them. Now, this one takes little balls on top, which I am already dreading. I wish Rain was here to help me. Because I am so bad with them, but you guys know that. And the smaller they are, the worse I am. Like, I do not know what my problem is with them, but I definitely have a problem. <laughs> So we're gonna give it a shot. But this won't matter because I will definitely mess this up with the embeds. <laughs> okay guys, here we go. Let me turn this around so I can see what I'm doing. Not that that will matter. I didn't know if I had enough so I'm gonna put some raspberry color ones on the end piece. To start. I know, count them, right? Just count them, Nicole. Alright, let's see here. Sorry if I'm quiet, this is just. I really am so bad with this. Some days are better than others. Whew. 
Yeah, it stresses me out. You cannot even believe it. It's soap. I tell myself all the time. It's soap. It's soap. But it matters to me. Okay. It really matters. To me. Let me see. These ones should get easier. They're on the side. And you would think that would make them easier. Not so much. And I know, Renee, the tweezers, right? But I can't grasp the balls with the tweezers. They work great for a lot of other embeds, but the balls, I can't do it with the tweezers. I try. Let me turn it around. You guys see what I'm still up to? And as usual, my piping is crooked as heck. Lord, I don't know what's wrong with me, my piping. I don't know how I look at it so crooked. I mean, it feels like I'm doing it straight down the middle. And I've tried doing it from different angles. and Lord, you'll see when you get the close-up how bad this one is. This one's really, really crooked. Okay. Thank you guys for your patience with me and always saying nice things even about my crooked soaps. Okay, now I'm going to glitter her up. I use uh, some star, some, uh, what do you call this? Snowflake sparkle. It is still winter after all, thankfully, because I am not a summer person. I don't think many people who live in the desert are summer people, but I could be wrong. And some silver. But this one, I have to take it out. Because it does not like to spritz. It does not like to spritz. Alright, guys. There's all the sparkles she's going to get. I will bring in for a close-up. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are back to cut the first bitten of 2020. Let's see what we did in here. Let's get this end piece off. I love cutting soap. Ah, I love it. I love it. Mm, it smells so good too. I don't know. I am really loving soap today. Not sure why. I love soap every day, but today I just really love it a lot. Should have put some pink ones on there, huh? It's okay. I like the. Um, what color did I use for those? Tropical teal? No, Siren Song. Siren Song. Yeah, Siren Song from Nurture Soap, one of my very favorite colors. I love Tropical Teal too, but Siren Song. Mmm. I don't know. It's just beautiful. Anyway, I feel, I think this soap got a little bit hot. Yeah, I'm going to turn it around. It was so cold out. I put them in the oven. I don't normally put them in the oven. I didn't turn the oven on. It was just still cold process, but I put them in there to insulate them some because it was so cold. And, you know, for us in Vegas, it was so cold. So, I mean, it was like 45 degrees. And I was concerned that they wouldn't because it was so cold that they didn't weren't, didn't have some kind of insulation that they wouldn't it wouldn't do it saponify properly so I popped them all in the oven all my soaps in the oven and this one I think it didn't get too too hot I mean it's got a couple little cracks on it but not too bad it's 
really pretty though. I'm really happy with it. If you're interested in purchasing any of our Bath and Body products, the links are in the description box below. If you'd like to follow us on social media, those links are also in the description box below. We also have Amazon affiliate links if you're looking to support this channel. I do try to find the cheapest prices for the things I have listed. Um, and we do um, get a percentage of that. It's very small, but you know, it helps. Every little bit helps. So, thank you so much if you're, if you just found us. I'm so glad that you found us. And thank you so much for watching. Okay, I've screwed up my embeds yet again. If you've been around a while, you know, that is really common. <laughs> That's something that I do. I have marks on my soap molds. There's no reason for it. But I do it anyway. I have some glycerin rivers in here. Not too many, but a few. Maybe it's from the oven. I actually like glycerin rivers. And I don't know if the camera's picking up because they're so light. But I don't know. I like them. I don't get them very often because we live in the desert. It's very dry here. But it's actually been raining. I gotta take a little bit off each side, I think, here. For days. For days. So, you know, we're flooding here. We don't normally get very much rain. So maybe that's why, because it's the humidity's up and I put these in the oven, which I did it's two things that are abnormal. Well, thank you so much for watching, and I hope that you have a really great day.